verse with which we began this short film from the prophet Isaiah said, Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Some of the words and pictures of this film have shown the dedication and determination that was needed to rebuild St. Mary's at the heart of what is now the city of Swansea. It took money, it took vision, and of course, it took much prayer. As I speak, we're all living through a crisis which has seen people confined to their homes, which has seen loss of life and real fear, which has seen businesses closed, jobs lost, and people's lives shattered. It's nothing like the World War, which saw the destruction of St. Mary's in 1941, but it is a time when we need God's strength to rebuild our lives and the lives of so many other people. As I said, the situation is nothing like World War II, but we can still learn lessons about faith and about commitment and about determination from those days. In 1898, at the end of a long process of planning and rebuilding, a great new church was opened in Swansea. It was built to represent the power of God in the heart of Swansea. It was built not to be missed. By the end of February 1941, the church was in ruins, but crucially, the faith of many people was not. Today, church buildings, not just around Swansea, but all around the country, have had periods of being closed over the past year. And it's a challenge to us and to all people to see how we respond. We've been removed from the comfort and security of our buildings and been asked to consider our faith in different places and very different circumstances. I think it's been a valuable lesson to us all to not get too attached to any particular building, however beautiful and important it may be, because buildings, like all material things, can disappear too easily. What is constant is God. It's from him that we renew our strength. And this last year has taken its toll on many people who've struggled to make sense of it, who have become worried about the future for themselves and for their churches. But the words of Isaiah, I think, really encourage us. These aren't gentle words, but words of great ambition, of great hope, of great faith. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength, and then they will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. These are words which emphasize how powerful God's strength is, even in us, when we really trust him. The words don't suggest that God will just give us enough to get through every day, although that may be all we can ask for at times. But in him and with his strength and his power, we can expect great things. We can trust in the power of new life, of new hope. As we look towards spring and summer and as we reflect on things looking as if they're slowly getting better in our communities, and as we travel through Lent, we can also spend a bit of time looking back, looking back to the hopes and vision of the rebuilding of St. Mary's. When it was reopened in 1959, the vicar, Canon Harry Craven Williams said, a church is only justified if day by day and week by week, people go to it to worship God and to receive within its walls the bread of life. It's my sincere hope and prayer that what St. Mary's has been for the people of Swansea in the past, it can be in the future. A real spiritual home, the spiritual center of the civic, economic, and industrial life of Swansea. It's a prayer that we must all continue to pray. For St. Mary's and for every church that has a future, for every church that is ready, willing, and able to tell afresh a story of resurrection and hope, a story of God who loves us and never leaves us, a story of light always being able to triumph over darkness. We rightly treasure our church buildings, places of prayer and worship, of hope, places where people come with sadness or joy, people who are mourning or remembering, people who are celebrating, people who are hopeful or seeking hope, people who are reflecting or not having a clue where to turn. 
But St. Mary's and any church will not be fulfilling its purpose until it's pointing people clearly to Jesus. And pray for God's guidance in doing that day by day here. So we remember the destruction of St. Mary's 80 years ago. We give thanks for the people who had the vision and courage to rebuild it. We give thanks for our part in the ongoing vision of a world being transformed by the love of Jesus as we constantly remind ourselves that those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Amen. And so let us pray. Loving Lord God, in our prayers, we remember the destruction of St. Mary's 80 years ago. We continue to pray for peace in a world so often damaged by conflict and injustice. We pray for peace in the hearts of people everywhere, for an end to injustice and poverty. We pray that as a church, as your people united, we will be alive to the needs of our community and ready to seek out and offer a vision of healing of comforting, of empowering and renewing, recognizing that it is in you alone, O oh God, that we renew our strength. We pray that we will offer a message of hope and that through our words and our actions, your love for all people will be revealed. We remember the courage and vision of those who rebuilt this church here in St. Mary's. We give thanks for their faith and vision and we pray that we will have faith and vision today, that we may be ready to face new challenges, that we may be and share good news wherever we are. And as we look forward to the future, we recommit ourselves to you, Lord, seeking your strength that we may live in your love and share that love day by day. And so Christ, whose glory is in the heavens, Fill our lives and illuminate our hearts. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us all and remain with us always. Amen.